Hello, I'm Noonjin, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing something special today. I am going to be playing Random Dice, but with old meta decks. Now, Random Dice has been out for around a year and a half now, and a lot of decks have gone meta, and now they're pretty much trash. So, I will be going through the previous meta, very extremely popular, meta decks and i am basically going to be playing those in a friendly pvp match because i am not going to be playing a real match with these decks and yeah let's just see how strong they are you know in today's standards i guess all right so for the first deck i have brought solar light modified electric now i don't know if you guys remember this deck but this deck used to be so popular that i can't even imagine this deck used to be good now, Light Dice over here, this thing used to be actually OP back in the day until it got nerfed pretty heavily. And now it's honestly pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't recommend using Light Dice like at all. The reason is, again, it's, it's bad. How do you play this deck? Basically, you survive your early rounds with Modify Electric. And then later on, after you get like 7 pip light, which was like 7 pip lunars back in the day, once you get those, you put solars next to them, high pip solars, and basically survive off of solars damage after that. I, I'm pretty sure I did make a video on this, like I'm pretty sure that was like my second or third video on my channel um, about random dice. And yeah, this is actually pretty nostalgic with the battlefield. Obviously, it doesn't look the same. There has been UI changes, but honestly, it's nostalgic. I'll give it a nostalgic out of 10. So here's the boss. I am not going to spawn any. Um, I'm going to spawn after Leon hits me. There we go. I'm just going to spawn like this so that my solars are activated. And back in the day, we used to always like wait for growth to like you know so that we could chain growth we still do that but we used to do it even more back in the day for some reason it, it was like a signal that you're good at the game or something like that it was pretty dumb but it was also fun at the same time and this was back when nine solars was not a thing or seven in this case if you had four that that was pretty much it and we do have high pip light dice my modify electric is not doing much um, light in general is pretty bad. Um, can I even survive this? Okay, I got a, uh, weak pip. So I think I should be able to. I'm gonna start powering up these guys. Again, light is extremely bad after it's nerfed. Holy smokes, it's actually pretty bad. If you guys are watching this in the future, don't play it. Unless light got a buff. Hmm, <laughs> okay. So my modify electric is not doing much. Um, kind of makes sense because um, the buff is like it might be a lot better with crit if you think about it but back in the day again light was superior over the crit like in any circumstances seeing growth and joker over a white board like a white default board it's kind of nostalgic not gonna lie again this video was um suggested to me by shovel thank you shovel for that video idea and yeah if you guys have any fun video ideas to submit um or if you guys want to tell me um please join my discord server it's literally free if you have a discord account you could just make you could just join it and you know you could submit it you can dm me as well pretty that's pretty much it Yeah, as you guys can see, light cannot keep up. If this was lunar, it might be, it would have been 100% different. If this, if light will, if light was, um, what was that other buff? Um, crit instead, I would have been able to kill it a lot quicker. But because it's light, I honestly can't kill it quicker. Quicker than, you know, how, like, the time that it takes me to kill. Does light need a buff? I think so. <laughs> this is not helping me at all. Light is doing nothing. I think I'll still die. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Oof. Light, please. Light dies. I trust you. Oh my god. I'm gonna, I'm gonna live. <gasps> what? 
How did I, how am I, how am I alive? Oh my god, that was, that was actually pretty good. I'm struggling at rat wave 4. I do only have two light dice, but oh, oh. Okay. I think it'll be better to have blizzard instead of light, if I'm being honest. Ah, there it is. That's GG's. So for the second game, I have brought Assassin, yes, Aspen. Um, so yeah, to give you a backstory on this deck, there has been multiple versions of this deck, like multiple. First of all, it started off with Mighty Wind being the DPS, not Typhoon, this was before Typhoon was a thing. And then now, people are using Bounty instead of Sacrifice, and people if they had summoner, people would use summoner instead of sacrifice as well back in the day. And believe it or not, I used to play this deck as well. <laughs> this deck used to be pretty fun. People like to say this was a very easy way to win the game. And it really indeed was. Since Switch wasn't popular at all. Like, no one used Switch other than gear decks. Since Switch wasn't popular, people just used Assassin and there was nothing to really dodge. The only counter, the only reasonable counter that people people used was sacrifice and that's that was pretty much it but sacrifice it's RNG dependent so this was always at the top people just don't use typhoon i mean asphoon anymore like people just use hypersyn there's so much more decks that you can use better decks as well so yeah why use a deck that doesn't work anymore when you have you know better decks right i think that's the only reason why this deck kind of died and also, uh, yin yang being a thing, switch being a thing, it kind of killed assassin in, in a way. So yeah, I think that's the reason why it's out of the meta right now. And overall, this is a pretty good, um, this is probably one of the, one of those decks that is very well balanced with each other. Like, you have Typhoon, it's a decent DPS, you can lane clear pretty quickly early on. And you could kill bosses early on very quickly and also uh, sacrifice there to support sp and also there's um joker growth for you know the support dice and there's assassin your win condition so i think it's one of those decks that you know is very well balanced i think The only downside to this deck is that it can die, it will die at wave 5, like maximum, um, for most players. Uh, usually it's only round 4, so it's it's round 3 right now and I'm already struggling kinda, it's because of Typhoon's limit. I know the mobs, they get a buff on the HP pool, but, you know, it does not really matter with Typhoon since, you know. You're gonna lose anyway. I'm probably if I leave it like this, I'm probably gonna lose during the wave. I'm gonna die by lane. You either win early on or you lose. Back in the day, winning at round three was pretty quick. Like it was considered quick because people used to play atomic a lot and solars a lot, so average wave duration was around six 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 to seven. And yeah, as I said, I am gonna lose here. That's the only downfall, I think, to this deck, currently. So for the final deck here, this isn't um, that old, I'm pretty sure. It is quite old, actually. It is Iron Modified Electric Crit deck, yes. I'm pretty sure I called it Melkatron. As dumb as it sounds, this was the definition of destroying your opponent with damage. No synergy in between, like, no, you know... If new, no, no, no strats, like no strats at all. Destroying your enemy with damage. This deck can survive up to wave six, or that's the that's the last um wave that I measured or I counted. Um, with my current specs, I can probably survive wave seven, but at the but at the same time, mobs did get a buff on the HP side, which means it's gonna be a lot harder. So yeah. 
Why was this deck exterminated? I am not sure, to be honest. This used to be very popular, but I think the addition of Lunar and stuff like that kind of killed it. Because Lunar is way better, and if you're gonna play Lunar, why play Iron and Modify Electric, right? You know, there's Solar, literally play Holy Sword. Like, there's so many other decks that you can play. Like, why choose these two? Like, why? And if you guys haven't played this deck before, this deck is very satisfying. And I mean, very satisfying to play. Like, you can just see your damage, your DPS just overwhelm the mobs. Like, it, and when everything crits, oh, it's so satisfying. It's like a stress relief. So how to play this deck is you would want to have a balance between iron and modify electric like onto the high pip crit. So in this case, uh, this used to be Joker, I will probably cut that part because I was not talking. This was Joker, I copied it to the 3 pip modify electric so that I don't lose DPS and wave clear. So yeah, um, that's, that's the only thing you really need to know on how to play this deck. Everything else is very straightforward, like, it's very easy to play this deck. You don't really need to think much, you can just mindlessly play it and sometimes win the game. The funny thing is, I tried to make a video on this deck, like, just on this deck, like, on a gameplay, right? You know, me talking over it, like, the usual stuff. But I decided not to, because I'm pretty sure update came out, and then I saw no one play it, so I thought, you know, this deck is meaningless and meaningless, so I even recorded for the video, I just did not edit it, so No, why am I, why am I losing already? What? Already? What? This doesn't make sense I need a pre eye pip, uh, modify electric, I think Is it because of the op HP? Or is it just that this deck is bad now. I think I think it's both, and I'm 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 struggling. I thought this can survive better than Typhoon, but I guess not. What? I do have better specs than before as well. That's that's weird. All right, night boss. Oh my god, what is this? Perfect. Now. We have to kill the knight. If he, if I can, I please kill it. Oh no, no. Uh, let's go for that. Nice. I think I can survive. I think as long as I get crit next to my thing. Six seconds. Ah, GG's. Well, today I have explored on the old meta decks, the old very popular um decks in random dice. And today I learned why they aren't played anymore. I knew those answers for some of them, not all of them. And today I learned why people don't use it anymore. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And this has been Noonjun. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.